Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for watching. Now, these guys are horrible, so let me show you how my battles used to turn out with these guys. You let me know if any of this seems familiar, and then I'm going to show you how we can defeat this thing in our underwear. Let's get into it. You might can occasionally get one of these in there every once in a while, but then, of course, my weapon breaks. I'm either running from it, hiding behind a pillar, or just constantly being shot at. And not even ancient arrows seem to phase them. Not to mention they're expensive. And guys, these respawn just like the other monsters after a blood moon. So you can always come back here and get their weapons and the ancient parts that they drop, but they're a major pain. There just has to be a better way. And guys, there is. I ran across this trick the other day, and so I just had to try it for myself. And you know what? It works. So hats off to KK Jinx, guys, because this works. Let me show you how we're gonna do this. When you first go into the shrine, don't go all the way in. You don't wanna trigger the door to where he comes out. Kinda of stay towards the front. And what we're gonna to need to do this with is the Thunder Blade. So what you wanna do is start to swing it, like you're gonna do a charge swing, and in mid-swing, hit the plus symbol and go into your inventory, and then drop it. Step away from it a little bit, and then go back into your inventory, and you want to get two more metal weapons. Well, you could use a metal shield or something like that. Just get two items that are made of metal. Now, pick up one of your metal items and touch the Thunder Blade and see if the electricity is working. If it isn't working, just pick the Thunder Blade up and repeat the process. But once it is working and the electricity is charging, we're gonna put these out in the middle of the room. Just be careful and don't step out too far to trigger the door to open so that he doesn't come out. And you wanna place these side by side just enough to where you can see the current is running through all of these metal objects. Now let's go trigger the door and all you have to do is just kind of guide him to where he's gonna run over this. And there you go guys, he's stuck. Now you don't wanna hit him with a bow and arrow or a weapon because you could knock him off. Now to hurry the process along, you can grab some wood and some flint, strike it with a metal weapon, or if you have the flame blade, that will work too. Just be careful and don't build the fire over top of your weapons so that you won't damage them. Okay guys, I'm gonna let the video play on out. I hope this helps. If so, please smash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. And yeah, you don't want to do that right there.